If you say probably him on the street, you will, won't recognize he's like normal child. He's crazy about cars. He probably knows every model. So <laughs> yeah. like every boy, is, he's crazy about like military stuff right now. He's watching like action movies, etc. So it's yeah, just like every like boy. normal mm -hmm. regular boys. <laughs> but when he goes and started to play, he's like transformed into different personality, and he's concentrated on music. So you try to give him childhood, our best. He's like normal. The idea that one has to practice 12 hours a day um, in order to achieve perfection, I think it's really very perverse. It should be a mental process, you know, cosa mentale, as Leonardo da Vinci said. Um, it, it must be an intellectual process. You know, I, I've always wondered because, they, they, you know, very often people say, but what about the sportive element? You know, you've got to train your muscles. Well, indeed, you know, but that can be done. That can be done at an early stage so that your muscles are trained and then you can go into the intellectual process of conception, of having a conception of the piece. And that you can do while, you know, riding a, a motorcycle or, or swimming in, in the sea or doing anything you want or, or, or cooking, uh, you know, or sleeping or dreaming. That can be done. Uh, and. But you know, most musicians have got that prejudice that if they don't spend so many hours at the piano, then they're not going to be able to make it. Uh, repeating, doing again and again and again the same, uh, you know, one, which is one of the dreadful things about music. It is the concept of repetition. You have got to, you know, um, you're going to perform for half an hour a piece that you have repeated for a thousand hours. Where, I mean, how? Where is the freshness? And I would say that if a child prodigy is exactly what it should be. You know, if, if we define it the way I've tried to define it, it is when somebody young brings freshness, you know, or has that natural freshness about his own self-expression. And uh, that is the essential thing that has to be kept you know, and maintained throughout one's, one's lifetime. Yehudi you know, always said, I was born old and I am dying young and I remember very clearly spending some wonderful hours with him um, after you know a long journey and sitting down and jet lag and the rest and he was telling me about the way he was conceiving a new way of phrasing Beethoven's seventh symphony Yehudi was already 80 you know and he was approaching that Beethoven symphony which had been a component of his life throughout his life, and he was thinking it afresh. This was, you know, he was still an infant prodigy. He was actually a vieillard prodige, a prodigious old, old young man, you know, keeping that extraordinary curiosity and uh, freshness about the music he was approaching. It's challenging to like uh, about the Chopin to like not tense up, to like stay relaxed, and not to like hit a wrong note or something. That's why I always have to practice it slowly. And um, and I really like it because it's like loud. It's like the kind of music I like.
he always tried to play something very difficult, uh, even more than he knew uh, by ear. It's often been said that child prodigies age poorly, that the transition from being a child prodigy to being a mature artist is difficult, and that many, many child prodigies do not make that transition. And I think that's because at some point a mature artist does need to have the analytical skills that an ordinary person builds up while learning something. And if, for some reason, a child prodigy doesn't learn those analytical things or does not manage to connect the analytical um, capacity with something more primal and emotional, what that person can do later is not so satisfying. So, I think there's hope for people who have to work their way up, as well as for people who seem to have been given everything at birth. We provide not only opportunities to perform, but we provide a great relationship with chemistry between all the elements, from uh, teaching parents and and, and providing the philosophy of teaching and proper teaching with all the elements uh, that, that create a complete artist, not just a, a fast finger machine. And also we provide career advice and connections to different managements and uh, performance opportunities. And we don't want the children to be abused and have a, a two-year splash. Uh, we want them to have longevity. We want them to be complete artists and uh, have a wonderful career and this is what this festival supports. His ability to say something with this music the spiritual aspect of the music is still progressing, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, there are lots of virtuosos in, at his age, but very few of them have his sound and ability to say something with the music. Since I was young, I always loved music. Um, I was born with it, you know. Um, and I just loved it right away when I heard it from different types of instruments. Um, didn't matter which one. I wanted Eugene to have this kind of sound, the, the sound that, that almost does not exist anymore, um, of old masters, like our teachers, Kogan and Oistrach, and Rostropovich as cellist, and uh, Haifetz. And this is what Eugene wanted also from the very beginning. I think he had a vision what kind of sound he wants to produce, and, and here it is, I think it's quite unique. It's different from what you, you hear today. Mm -hmm. 